Hello friends, welcome to Nikkeit Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn how to uninstall existing IACS and then reinstall it. If the existing account has been expired, you can see this only you'll be having one runtime environment. You cannot be able to see the, the cloud runtime environment. So that means the account has been expired by today's date. So one or two days, they will suspend this particular account. So now we will see how to uninstall this particular account and recreate one more new account. Just go to control panel, click on control panel, go to this programs, uninstall a program. So here you'll be having a Informatica cloud secured agent. So just click on uninstall. So click on yes here. Click on yes, you'll be getting this particular page. So here you can click on uninstall. So it will take some time to get uninstall. It may take more times. So it is getting uninstalled. We'll wait for some time. So if you have opened this particular page, you may get this particular error also. Sometimes you may get this particular error. So because we have opened this particular page, so I will close this page and we can click on done here. Just I'm going to click on done here. So it has been uninstalled completely. So you can refresh it. You can refresh and then see. So there is no file with Informatica Cloud. So we have uninstalled. So we can go to this particular C drive. To C drive, program files. So you can see this particular folder. So we can remove this particular folder. I can choose this folder and shift delete. So this folder completely, we can remove it. So we have removed it. So first step is, so uninstall existing IACS from control panel. The second step, so remove IACS folder from C drive. So once we have followed these two steps, so we have to reinstall one more time. So for this reinstallation, we need to have a new email account. So just create a new email account. So I just created a new account. So if you have any other account, you can use it. So just create a so new email account, email ID. So for this new IACS account. So you can use it for next one month with this new account. So for the installation, we have to follow the same step how we have installed. So now we will see how to create IACS free trial account and install secured agent in our local machine. So it is a trial version. It is free for next 30 days. So we can use next 30 days and then we can create one more account. So first of all, go to this informatica.com. So just go to informatica.com here so just go to informatica.com so you can see this particular page so here you can click on free trial so we can find choose your free cloud platform trial account so go a little bit down so you can you can see here cloud data integration just you can find one more free trial here so click on free trial here so you can find this particular page. So here we have to fill the first name, last name, all the details. So just I'm filling that first name and job title. So I can mention that. So just I'm mentioning the job title. So instead of in the work email, instead of work email, we can give whatever the email we have created. So R, R you can use your personal email account. So just I'm creating, I'm providing the work email account. So you can choose this option, use my email addresses, my username. So you can give user role. So we can give user role as administrator. You can give user role as 
developer so whatever the role you want you can give so if you are making the user role as administrator then you will have cai account also cai is nothing but cloud application integrator so we'll have ca account cai account also so if you choose administrator so you can provide a phone number just we can provide our phone number the organization name so you can provide the organization name so no need to provide your the current organization name you can mention like student also then you can go for the country so you can choose so whatever the country and the state so you can choose a state city and postal code and phone number so everything we have to provide here so just you can provide the phone number here so phone number organization name so country state and click on start your free trial account so after clicking on the start free trial account you'll be getting this particular message so congratulations on starting your trial account so check your inbox for more information how to log in so we can go to the inbox and you can see one mail we have received on email from iacs admin so you can click on this link and you can go to this particular verify now click on this verify me now then you'll be getting this cloud so you have to provide the new password so you can provide the new password and confirm password and security questions so you can provide the security questions here so then submit it so this is the page you'll be getting it so you can go for don't show this again so you can just click on so if you are clicking on then you'll be getting this particular page as i told if you are selecting the user role as administrator you'll be getting all the api so application integration and data integration all this you can go to this administrator so just we have completed these steps we have created the free trial account so we can we have we have provided everything then we have activated so we have done with the iacs account creation so now we will go to how to install security agent in our machine so this is the page you will be getting it and go to a runtime environment so we can see this only the cloud hosted agent is available now it is up and running so first we will download the secured agent in order to run any iacs mapping we need to have two agent one is the cloud hosted agent another one is local secured agent so first we will download the secured agent so the platform you can choose as windows 64 and install token you can just copy this so copy and if you want you can paste it in notepad and we have to use this install token while activating it i have just copied it click on download it will get downloaded it will take some time to download we'll wait for some time once we have downloaded so click on this exe file click on yes here so this is the page we'll be getting it so you can choose existing folder itself no need to change anything here just click on next and install it so this is the page you'll be getting it the username you can provide the email id so whatever the email id here we have so this email id we have to provide and token so whatever we have copied you can provide the install token 
first paste this install token and then go to the username so username this is the username so you can copy it control c and you can paste it here the username is nothing but our email id so just we have to provide username as email id and the install token whatever the token we have copied from here if you forget to copy this install token so no worries so we can go for generate install token newly and then we can paste it here so just click on register it will get registered and we can able to see here the secured agent and services are up and running so it will take some time very first time it may take so five minutes or 10 minutes based on your system speed so after that you can if you refresh this page you can able to see two different secured agent if you refresh this page you can able to see the secured agent now so this is the secured agent and you can click on this blue color mark and go inside you can see here it is showing like the services are starting up sometimes you may get some issues here if you are getting any issues i have already posted some videos then check my another video called installation issues so i have explained how to solve that installation issues so you can check it and then you can solve it i'm just refreshing the page one by one these services will start very first time it will take more time after that it will start within 5 to 10 minutes you can see here so just one services is up and running so one by one the other services also will up and run we will wait for some time we can see here one by one the services are up and running so only one services are left out so we will wait for some more time this will also will get started so we can see here all the services are up and running and you can see the overall status is up and running so we can go to this runtime environment we can see here both the services are up and running so now we are we are fine to create the connections and we can go to the data integration then we can create new mapping and mapping task and task flow and everything if you are facing any issues on the iacs free trial account creation or installation of the secure agent so please post your queries in the comments i will answer it thank you for watching we will meet in another session thank you